just always something new and exciting. You don't ever have a boring day in Mojave. To go and to unveil the world's first human commercial spacecraft even made my kids very jealous today. The spaceship flew like a, a bird and uh, the, the crew got out with big smiles on their face, so absolutely delighted. A kid growing up drawing spaceships on his folder doesn't want to have a job like this. I've never ridden in a rocket before and I highly recommend it for everybody. The ride is smooth and exciting and oh my gosh, you go up high in a hurry. Hi everyone, Stuart Witt, General Manager of the Mojave Air and Spaceport. I want to introduce you to Unrestricted Dream Space right here in Mojave. If you got an idea and you want to try something, come up here and we'll help you. We'll give you a venue. We'll figure out a place, even if it's just a little shack over here someplace, to start your business. I'm just going to build my own rocket ship and we're going to go. Why did Orville and Wilbur go to Kitty Hawk? They went to Kitty Hawk for three reasons. Freedom from encroachment by the press, freedom from industrial espionage, and a steady breeze. You know, the same things exist at Mojave today. There's no other major meccas of rocket-powered airplanes that, that I know of besides this whole area here, Mojave and Edwards right next door. And the reason is because it's such a wonderful natural area for testing rocket planes. It's in the middle of nowhere. Nobody else wants to be here, so we do. The flying weather's great. And also the uh, incredible, helpful attitude of the people here in Mojave, specifically the airport management and directors who get it who understand what we're about in developing these new technologies. You would not believe the wild ideas that walk in this office. And we don't look at them as wild ideas. We actually take some internal pride in hosting people who are willing to try. You know, there's a lot of people that look at that row time and they see it as a failed project, but I don't. I look at the number of companies that grew out of that and became thriving companies and basically became the foundation of a new industry. XCOR was founded in 1999. All four of the founders had worked together at another entrepreneurial space company, the Rotary Rocket Company, that was based in Mojave. It's been a rock and ride, and uh, we're not done yet. And there are many, many other companies here on this facility, and they gravitate to Mojave. And you, you come here and you find a collection of like-minded people focused on common goals. Every day you see something strange in the sky here at the Mojave Airport. It's a very, very interesting place to do business. The rewards of working here at Mojave is uh, just being exposed to a great range of uh, aerospace activities from uh, rocket ships, spaceships to uh, civilian aircraft. There aren't many places where you can do this type of testing. It's the world center of uh, odd-looking airplanes that do amazing things. It's an opportunity that just doesn't exist in very many other places in the world. To be here when Brian Benny and Mike Melville flew a home-built spaceship that was built by 34 people at a time when NASA had 85,000 and couldn't put an American in space. And we did it from here with a plastic airplane that was built by 34 people. That was pretty neat. To see Dave Maston's picture on the cover of Aviation Week and I remember the night before he won, his rocket burnt up sitting on the pad after a flight, and they rebuilt it with volunteers. Came out the next day and won a million dollar X Prize. That's the story people don't see, and we do. We get to see the passion. We get to know the people that are twisting the wrenches. This is the only airport that I know of that recognizes the importance the prioritization and importance of research flight testing. A Mojave Air and Spaceport, by and large, operates on its own receipts. We don't get operational uh, funds from anybody. The commerce rolling through Mojave Airport that rolls up the mountain is really good business for us, and it's the wind industry. On the rail yard side, we've signed a 10-year contract with the rail industry to support the wind industry. That's not only excellent use of our land holdings and compatible use of our land holdings, but it's a great revenue source which enables the air side operations. We were able to perform nearly 5,000 rocket tests in the last 10 years, and you project that ahead, that is now a game changer in the rocket-powered flight industry. Nowhere else on Earth is that happening. I keep telling the world, if we are successful in Mojave, hopefully the world will have many commercial vehicles to fly in space. Mojave Air and Spaceport is the world's premier flight test facility. And don't you forget it.